This video is about RNA editing. Before we get into RNA editing, I'd like to go back and go over gene expression. Gene expression is the process by which DNA is first transcribed into messenger RNA in the nucleus, and then transported out into the cytoplasm and translated into proteins by the ribosome. RNA editing refers to this step, where changes to the RNA sequence are made after transcription and before translation. The methods by which RNA is edited consist of either substitutions or insertion slash deletions. Substitutions are where one nucleotide is substituted for another, such as a C becoming a U via the enzyme cytidine deaminase, or an A becoming an I via the enzyme adenosine deaminase. Insertion slash deletions are often referred to as indels, and they use guide RNA to insert or delete U's into and out of the RNA. Here we show the insertion of a few U's into the sequence. For this video, I'll be using the human ApoB gene to illustrate a tissue-specific RNA substitution that alters the function of the ApoB protein. The ApoB gene is transcribed from DNA into pre-messenger RNA and then that pre-messenger RNA is processed to become mRNA, which can go on to become a protein through translation. That pre-mRNA contains 29 exons, separated by 28 introns, with a total of 4,564 codons. And to refresh your memory, exons are the part of the sequence that are spliced together during pre-mRNA processing, and introns are the sequences that get removed. Codons are three nucleotide long sequences that correspond to specific amino acids and start-stop codons during translation. So the pre-mRNA is spliced, removing the introns to produce mRNA, or messenger RNA. And that mRNA goes on to produce the final protein. This general the process of expressing the ApoB gene is active in both the liver and the intestine. However, there's one small difference. In the liver, the ApoB gene is transcribed and translated normally, as we just described. It produces a 4,563 amino acid long protein called apolipoprotein B100, and it works to transport cholesterol and other lipids in the blood. However, when this gene is expressed in the intestine instead of the liver, one specific codon, codon 2153, which reads CAA, would normally translate the amino acid glutamine, is modified by cytidine deaminase to UAA, so it switches that C to a U, and now it represents a stop codon, and will stop translation at a 2,152 amino acid long protein called apolipoprotein B48, which rather than working to transport cholesterol and other lipids in the blood, it now works in the absorption of dietary lipids from the intestinal lumen. This is an example of RNA editing that can affect the function of a gene using one single substitution and hopefully illustrates how the limited genetic code can be altered to create specialized functions for genes using RNA editing. Thank you.